Hi, I'm Tiffany, and this is Brokerl Aesthetic. On this channel, I do budget-friendly DIYs, thrift flips and hauls, trash and treasures, and more. In today's video, I've used some thin cardboard, like from a cereal box, to make it an Etsy-inspired moon wreath. So hang out with me for a few minutes, and let's see how I put this together. So I'm using my Cricut Explorer 2 with a fine point blade and I have a custom setting for soda box. Um, if you have watched different things here on my channel, I've used thin cardboard like this many times to do custom shapes using my Cricut um, and it cuts it out. So I created a setting in my, in my Cricut design space of um, 350 pressure all the way up and nine times cutting to make sure that it goes through. For this particular cardboard, it didn't take that much, but it's fine. Perfectly cut. And now I have six pieces that I'm going to layer together to create a more sturdy uh, shape. And I'm going to use just a matte Mod Podge to seal them all together. And it makes a, a pretty sturdy piece here. The next thing I'm going to do is use some caulking to create some texture on the moon. And I'll just use a little, just like a little clay knife thing to spread it about. All right, so I've got it all applied. It's dry. And what I'm going to do is paint with the Waverly chalk paint in ink. And I'm going to give it two coats of paint. This is for the So You Think You Can Craft Challenge. Uh, Melissa asked me to co-host. And I got to pick the material, which is cereal box. Which, it's technically any thin cardboard like a cereal box. So, <laughs> I used a pizza box, actually. Like a, um, a frozen pizza box. But, she hosts this challenge every month. Uh, there each, each month has a new, uh, item that you have to craft with. So everybody in the playlist is crafting with cereal boxes or thin cardboard. So I'm really excited for this. And thank you so much to Melissa for asking me to co-host her link and the link to the playlist is in the description box below. So here I've got the, the black paint on and I think it just looks awesome. <laughs> but you'll be the judge. So I will go ahead and skip forward to the next step. I'm going to apply a layer of the matte Mod Podge to seal all of the paint in. And I'm so sorry my, my camera lens got a little foggy for this part, but I'm just taking some random uh, leaves and sticks and flowers to uh, try to mimic the look of this Etsy moon wreath. And I will link that below. <laughs> I, I, I love the one that they, they make, but mine is way cheaper. <laughs> so I'm going to just glue some of these on. Now the florals are all glued down. Um, I do end up changing a little bit of it and now I've got to put a hanger on the back. I'm just going to use a piece of jute cord, hot glue it down on the back to hang it up. Uh, it was brought to my attention I needed to tame the leaves a little bit because the moon was kind of getting lost and I agreed so I do end up changing as you will see here in just a minute. I just tied a knot in the jute and I'm going to hot glue that down and use some painter's tape just to help secure it. Um, I did have to change it because it was lopsided when I hung it up. <laughs> but, you know, until you can actually hang it up, you don't know. And there it is hanging on my door. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Was I able to make a, a good representation of the one from Etsy? 
Thank you so much to Melissa from Melissa Makes a DIY for this challenge and asking me to co-host. Make sure you check out all of the videos in the playlist. It is linked in my description box below along with Melissa's channel. Yeah, I really like it. Um, this is something I can keep up all year long and, you know, it's perfect for bringing in the spring equinox for me. So it's, I, I love it. It's gorgeous. <laughs> so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great weekend. Take care, y'all. Bye.